Hello friends, welcome to War Wiki. Meticulous Mondays is a series where we talk about some current affair topic. Today we tell you about some latest developments on one of the most ambitious Indian project. We will discuss about the latest news on Indian light combat aircraft, the HAL Tejas. Before we come on to the news and updates, let's first try and understand the background and history of Tejas. In this video we will tell you all you have to know about this wonderful light combat fighter jet. We discuss its origin, its history, and also its biggest criticism and problems, here we will also understand its competitors, and will try and understand where does Tejas stand in front of them. At the end we will tell you the latest updates on this plane, so hang on and enjoy the video. LCA Tejas is an Indian single-seat, single-jet engine, multi-role supersonic light fighter, designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Air Force and Navy. The aircraft has a tail-less compound delta-wing configuration, which makes it highly maneuverable. The Indian LCA Tejas is often criticized for its delay in designing and production, it took almost 30 years for India to actually bring this project to light, and yet it is haunted with several flaws. To understand this problem it's important to understand the origins of LCA. The light combat aircraft program started in 1987, to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighter aircrafts. It was a daunting challenge for India, as it did not have any fighter aircraft manufacturing capabilities or infrastructure back then. In 70s India had created a supersonic fighter named HAL HF-20 Formaroot, but even here the designing and aerodynamics were contributed by a German team. In case of LCA, an entire industry was set up from scratch, the intention was to indigenously build all the components in India. The radar, flight control, material composite, even the engine was supposed to be built in India. The recession of 1991 resulted in severe cutbacks for this project. Yet again the nuclear test in 1998 that India conducted resulted in far-fetched criticism and economic sanctions from global community. This adversely impacted the LCA program and its progress. Perhaps the biggest reason for delay of this project was the 1999 Indo-Pak Kargil War. As the main reason for this project was a viable substitute of MiG-21 for Indian Air Force, LCA was being made by keeping MiG-21 specifications as benchmark. The Kargil War of 1999 witnessed that the MiG-21 were not as effective and maneuverable in an high-altitude environment. The Mirage 2000 were the stars of this war. In 2000 the technical specifications and benchmark were changed, and now LCA was to be designed in line of the French Mirage 2000 which was a fourth-generation plane, this way the 90s turned out to be a lost decade for the LCA program. The LCA took first flight in January of 2001. It was officially named Tejas, which means radiant in Sanskrit by the then PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee, in 2003. After several requirement changes from the IAF, fixing of glitches and multiple successful trials, the LCA Tejas was inducted in Indian Air Force in 2015. Let's try and understand some of its capabilities now. Tejas is a supersonic multi-role fighter. With a maximum speed of Mach 1.1 or 1350 km per hour, Tejas is a fighter jet that can fly with a speed greater than the speed of sound. Tejas was originally designed for air superiority role, later however in course of time it came to be designed as multi-role fighter, with primary focus on interception and air defense role, and secondary capabilities of ground attack. Its flexibility permits a variety of guided air-to-surface and anti-shipping weapons to be integrated for multi-role and multi-mission capabilities. Tejas has a pure double delta wing configuration, with no tailplanes or canard, and a single dorsal fin. The tailless compound delta platform is designed to be small and lightweight, the delta-shaped wing provides more wing surface which is an indication of better maneuverability as well as will provide more hard points for weapons. Tejas has undergone extensive wind tunnel trials. Computational fluid dynamics analysis have optimized the aerodynamic configuration for minimum supersonic drag and low wing loading. This ensures better flying capabilities and less fuel consumption. The LCA is constructed of aluminium lithium alloys, carbon fiber composites, and titanium alloy steels. The Tejas employs expensive but very effective carbon fiber composite material for 45% of its airframe. Its wings, tail fins, and fuselage all are made from CFC. This makes it light and yet strong. Less weight indicates better agility and speed, material strength is needed for better load carrying capabilities. With a load-bearing capability of up to 4,000 kg and with 7 hardpoints for the weapon, the Tejas is one of the best in its class. The high-speed and high-load-bearing capacity is very unique feature of this plane, 
this allows the LCA to take off from even short runways. Ramps as long as 480 meters are enough for it to take off. One of the best feature of this plane is its fly-by-wire system, this means that there is a computer intervention between the action of a pilot and the hardware of the plane, this helps in better response and ensures much better safety of the plane. The fly-by-wire avoids any such operation or maneuver which may result in a crash. LCA also employs state-of-the-art avionics, Tejas has a night vision goggles compatible glass cockpit. Initially Indian-made Kaveri engine was to be used in this plane, however due to several failed tests and problems in development of Kaveri engine, American-made GE engines were used in 2011 and this plane was bought to light. Its newer version Mark II variants will use top of the class AESA radar, which is being jointly developed by Israel and India. Brahmos NG or the Brahmos Next Generation, which is a shorter and a lighter version of the deadly supersonic Brahmos missile, will be used in this variants of LCA. The combination of supersonic Tejas with Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, will surely prove to be deadly. To know more about Brahmos missile, you can catch this cool video on the top of your screen. Tejas has often been criticized after being compared with F-22 Raptor, European Eurofighter, the French Rafale and even the Indian used Sukhoi 30 MKI. This is not a fair comparison at all. All these fighters have been constructed as air superiority fighter, with air dominance as first priority, they are made for deep penetration missions. Contrary to these, Tejas is made for interception as first priority and ground support as second. Another stark difference is that F-22, Sukhoi 30 MKI, Eurofighter, and Rafale, all are twin-engine planes, two engines make them heavier but also gives them additional power, increasing their range and load-bearing capacity. These technical superiorities are visible in their cost as well, all of these heavy fighters are much more costly than Tejas. While these planes typically cost anywhere from $55 million to $150 million, Tejas is much more affordable with cost of $30 to $40 million. The actual real competitors of Tejas are the American F-16, Swedish Gripen, French Mirage 2000, and Sino-Pakistani JF-17. Tejas is extremely comparable with most of these fighters. In fact it outweighs several of them in quite a few criterias. In this category Tejas is one of the most maneuverable and agile, and has one of the best power to weight ratio. The future variant of Tejas, the LCA Mark II is being designed and developed in lines of fifth generation planes and has the potential to outweigh all of the planes in this category. A lot of criticism for this plane is owing to the commercial lobby. India is the biggest defense importer in the world. Success of LCA Tejas, would imply an end or at least major cutback of India's import of foreign fighter jets, it is because of this reason it's in the best interest of plane manufacturers to criticize and downplay Tejas's capabilities. Recently in December 2016, Indian Navy rejected Tejas for its carrier operations, claiming it to be overweight and stating that it cannot optimally operate from aircraft carriers. The media made a huge hype of this news, some claimed it to be the end of this plane. Some of the best plane have faced the same exact fate in the past. In 1993 US Navy and US Marine Corps rejected the naval version of F-22 Raptor as it could not meet their requirements, did it mean the end of F-22? F-22 still made history and is currently one of the best plane in its class. A plane variant could very well be inoperable for certain specification, this need not mean the entire plane concept and design is flawed. 104 Tejas have already been ordered by the Indian Air Force. Another 130 more Tejas will be ordered in either Mark I or Mark II variants. With countries like Egypt and Sri Lanka considering its import, the future of this plane looks bright. In the latest updates regarding this fighter jet, on February 2 HAL announced that they will be setting up a second Tejas production line to boost the number of planes being produced every year. HAL already has a decent order pipeline. Timely delivery is the key for future export orders. Currently the second production line will help strengthen the 45th squadron of IAF, the Flying Dagger Squadron is the first IAF squadron for Tejas. This news was further Sweden on February 9th. A special CCS meeting chaired by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, cleared a proposal to ramp up the production by approving third production line as well. In next few years the third production line is expected to be established in area near Nekandi in south of India. This entire week was buzzing with news on Tejas, India is trying to pitch Tejas for export prospects. Tejas is expected to be the star of the upcoming Aero India 2017, which will start on February 14. This Indian LCA fighter jet will demonstrate its combat readiness with the challenging and risky 8G maneuver to prove its mettle.
The prospective buyers have already started to get a demo flight experience even before the Aero India 2017 has started. This Aero show will see many government officials and senior Air Force officers from various countries coming down to India, who will be briefed on LCA Tejas fighter jet. A special briefing has been organized specially for Indonesian Air Force officials, who are looking to replace their Northrop F-5E Tiger II fighters, procured in the 80s. With initial requirement of 16 light fighters, deal worth $1.5 billion is up for grab. Aero India 2017 will also witness acrobatic performance of Gripen E version, which is the real competitor of Tejas. With the upcoming Aero India show next week, you can expect some more Big Bang announcement regarding the Tejas. Now we ask you a question, based on your information on LCA Tejas, Swedish Gripen and Pakistani JF-17 fighters, which light fighter do you think is the best, and which plane will get the biggest export orders in near future? Do let us know your answer in comments below. Let's have a fair unbiased discussion regarding this. We will continue bringing you such detailed and exciting videos. Do not forget to like and subscribe, your support helps us in keeping the channel alive. Have a great day, and support WarWiki.